Good morning, Byram Schools, and welcome back to the Byram News Network. My name is Sarah. And I'm Elise. Today is Monday, January 6, 2020. It is a B-Day. Drama Club, your next rehearsal is Tuesday, January 7th for Story of My Life blocking, free, oh my god, freak flag <laughs> blocking. <laughs> Make sure you have homework or something to do while others rehearse. Basketball fans, anyone that is planning on coming out to support the boys or girls teams during home games, remember that you need a note from home to attend. It must be signed and dropped off in the main office during morning meeting, so Mrs. Rafferty knows you'll be staying. Band members, reminder that you are in week one of the lesson schedule. The PTA is once again sponsoring Byram's Got Talent. The date is February 28th. If you are interested in competing and showing off your talents, auditions are Friday, January 17th from 4 to 6.30. Lenape Valley Basketball is hosting another silent night game on January 30th. A silent night game means the crowd stays completely quiet until our Patriot boys score their eighth point. Once they score it, though, you go completely nuts to honor Nick's memory, as his parents do their part to fight childhood cancer. Peer leaders, your next meeting is tomorrow at 8 a.m. in Miss Hooker's room. Your book club, your next meeting is this Thursday, January 9th, after school in the STEM lab until 4.30. Now let's go to today's segments. Hello, BIS, and welcome to STEM class. For the fifth graders, you will have STEM class next year. For 6th and 7th graders, you will do this project in 8th grade. These are called passion projects. You get to use certain skills like technology, coding, engineering, or carpentry. You can make things like living walls or even a video game on your computer. Let's go check it out. I am doing one of those Japanese video game things. They are very obscure and niche. You may have never heard of them. I know I hadn't heard of them yet. I'm just kidding, I heard of them. What are you doing, Aiden? I'm doing the Washington Monument made out of cardboard. First I thought I was gonna make like an arcade game out of cardboard. Then I decided, because I like working with wood, I decided to make a living wall. My passion project is a ring toss. Mine is like a basketball catapult game. I chose it because I wanted to build like a game, like an arcade type of game, and I thought that was a good one to build. Um, yeah, I wanted to do something like an arcade game, and also we were just working on catapults and science, so I knew a lot about them. Um, well, I'm creating a uh, game for with Scratch, programming a game. So yeah, and I chose it because I like Scratch and I like programming, so it's... My passion project is um, a research paper on autoimmune disorders. I picked this because I have an autoimmune disorder and I just find it really interesting. Gaming. <laughs> Designing. Um, I'll work on carpentry, engineering, and I guess kind of agriculture. Just building and figuring out how to make everything like the right way for it to work. Yeah. <laughs> like engineering. Um, programming, just problem solving in general, I think. Um, it's going to be like a platformer with obstacles that you have to beat. My researching skills. Constructing something that doesn't fall over. Um, I'll show my living wall. Mm. Our, our project, project, yeah, our final will be project. Like our evidence. Yeah. Um, my game that it works, I guess. I'm just a bunch of data about each of my um, different topics for the paragraphs. That's it for Monday's episode. We end today with the quote of the day. What a wonderful thought it is that some of the best days of our lives haven't happened yet. That wisdom was said by fellow 13-year-old Anne Frank. Make it, it a great, great day, day, Byram, or not, the, the choice, choice is yours. <laughs> That's what I call spa. <laughs>